Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna show you all how to change your Wii system menu. Now, the cool thing about this is that there are so many themes out there for you to choose from. Like maybe this simple dark mode for your Wii would be up your alley, or maybe you'd want a theme more personalized to your favorite game, like this Animal Crossing one here. Or perhaps you're just looking around for something cool and more interactive, like this Samus visor theme, which I'm personally going to be using in today's video. So let me go ahead and just show you all how we can get this done. All right, so to start this off, we're gonna be using the Wii Guide, and I'll leave a link in the description below for everything that I'm using here today. And one thing that the site really emphasizes is how easy it is to brick your system. There's a ton of warnings here, and if really, if you're not paying attention, if you're not that tech savvy, you shouldn't be trying this yet, and I'd recommend trying other things before continuing. Um, you should also make sure you have Preloader installed as well as Boot Me. I did that in a previous video, so if you don't have those, I'd recommend you'd go and watch those and then continue on with what we're gonna be doing here today. Uh, I'll also leave timestamps down below for things that I think people may have already covered. Like they recommend you also do the CIOSs and I'm sure some of you have done that already. So I'll leave a timestamp down below so you can skip ahead past those parts. But assuming that this is all fresh for you, we're just gonna start grabbing our downloads. So we're gonna grab the My Menuify mod, which I'm just gonna click that. Go to download file for the My Menuify zip. And we're gonna grab the Theme Me mod. And next, we're gonna grab a theme. Now, the Wii Guide actually provides links for you to check out for themes. So let's look at uh, Wii Theme Team Creations V2. Click here. And there are a bunch of themes down here. So let's just start with the first one. Uh, most of them are marked with a spoiler. And if there is a video for you to watch, you can click video here, and this will give you a preview of what the theme looks like if the video is offered. Um, you also, the biggest thing you have to pay attention when downloading these themes are your version and your region. You can see there's 4.x NTSC, PAL, Japan, Korea. So like for example, my Wii is on version 4.3U. So I would be downloading themes for 4.3 NTSC. And uh, if you notice, there is 4.x here. 4.x means 4.1, 4.2, and 4.3. So these are compatible with those versions on these regions. So if I was going to download these, I would be downloading 4.x NTSC. I, however, have a much cooler theme that I like, which is the Samus Visor theme made by VGM Studios. I've been using this theme for years. I love this theme, so I'd recommend you guys check this out. Unfortunately, it's limited to the NTSC consoles. You can see he made the 4.2U and the 4.3U. I'm gonna be going with the 4.3 once again, so let me just go ahead and open this up and hit download. Good with that. And then the last thing will be the CIOS installer. So I'm just gonna download this as well. And now we can just start structuring our files. So now in our downloads folder, you're gonna see we have four files here. We have three zips, which we're gonna extract. I'm just gonna highlight these, right click and hit extract each archive to separate folder. Then I'm gonna delete the zips. And then we'll start off with the CIOS installer. So let's open up our Wii SD card, which I have somewhere right here. And you're gonna notice we have the apps folder on our SD card. And in the CIOS installer, if we open it up, we have an apps folder here as well. So I'm just gonna drag this onto the root of our SD card. Then I'm gonna head back to downloads and we're gonna do the My Menuify mod and do the same exact thing. Take the apps folder and drag that onto the root of the SD card. And then finally, we have the new Themey mod, which is the application to make and install the theme. So I'm just gonna open this up Go to Themey, and then the Themey.exe will be here. So we're gonna open that up as well. Now with this application, I'm just gonna go ahead and go to Tools, and we're gonna download the base app. And you're gonna select the version of your Wii console on top of your region. So I'm version 4.3 USA. Then it's gonna say type 45E to create a common key bin. So I'm gonna type that in, and then just hit Enter. And then it's gonna ask you where you wanna save this. So I'm gonna save this into the theme me folder. Right here is fine. And this application that it's actually doing, this uh, 00097.app, this is actually what's gonna install your main theme back to normal towards the end, should you ever decide you wanna go back. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is go into options, go to standard system menu, again, select your version, and again, make sure your region is selected. Looks like mine's already selected, so that's good. Then we're gonna go into File, 
open and we're going to open up our Samus visor theme. So it's going to be an MYM file, the uh, theme that you download. So open this up and then we're just going to hit create CSM. So boop. And then it's going to ask you where you want to download it to. So the downloads folder is fine for me. And we're just going to wait for this to finish. Once it's done, you're going to get a message asking if you want to save the MYM file. Just hit no. And we're all set with this. So we can exit out and hit no once again. And now the next thing to do would be to make a themes folder on our SD card. So go to the root of your SD, right click, hit new folder. And we're going to call this mod themes. It's important that it's spelled exactly as is. Mod themes ends with an S. So just open this up. And we're going to drag this 00097 app right into this. And then we're going to drag our CSM file that was just created also into here. Now, if you followed one of my previous tutorials, if you have boot me, chances are you have it set to underscore disabled. What this does is just make boot me not start up when the Wii starts up. We're going to be using boot me. So I'm just going to delete this and just make it say boot me. When you're all done, if you don't want it to keep booting up, just make sure you set it back to underscore slash disabled. And I think we're pretty much all set on the SD card for now, so we can pop things out and head over to the Wii. Okay, now that we're back on the console, you can see I have a couple of applications here. We got the CIOS installer and we have my Menuify mod. The first thing we're gonna run through is the CIOS installer. And again, everything's timestamped down below. So if you've done this before, you can go ahead and skip this step. So let's go ahead and just load this up. Press the A button and we're going to start selecting our CIOSs. So for the first one, select CIOS. We're going to make this D2X V11 Beta 1. Select your CIOS base as 38. Select your CIOS slot as 248. And then select your revision as 65535. Now, the most that I can say in regards to this, if you don't have any of the options that I'm showing here today, uh, one thing you can try is make sure you don't have a lock on your SD card. If you do, make sure it is unlocked and not locked. And lastly, the next thing you could try is just a new SD card altogether. It could be your SD cards on its way out. Potentially, you just don't have a brand that's compatible with the Wii. It could be a whole bunch of things. So those are the two things I'd recommend trying before anything else. But assuming you have that done, just press A to continue. Press A one more time. Now, I probably should have mentioned that you're going to need an internet connection to download it the way we're doing today. If you want to download it manually, I did cover that also in the previous video for those of you who don't have an internet connection. So uh, yeah, we're just going to let this finish up. Once we're here, just press the A button to continue. Then we're just going to be switching up the base to 56 and the slot to 249. And then we're going to press the A button one more time and the A button again. So after this downloads, we're going to do this two more times. So let me just go ahead and skip ahead to that. OK, when this one's done, just press the A button again and we're going to change the base to 57 and the slot to 250. Press A again and A once more and we'll just let this finish. OK, and last one, we're going to hit the A button and we're going to do the base 58 and the slot 251. Press A and A one last time. All right, and we are all done with the CIOS installer. So now we can just hit the B button and that will close out of the application. Now, the next thing I recommend you doing is a NAND dump of your console. And honestly, when you first homebrew your Nintendo Wii, you should have done this. And I know there's a bunch of you who haven't, so I'm looking at you right now. Uh, you should definitely back up your Wii before doing this, just in case something goes wrong. So if that sounds like you that I'm talking about right now, just go ahead and hit the home button and we're gonna launch boot me. And once again, if you've already done a NAND dump fairly recently, you can skip this step and timestamps down below. So launch boot me. And now your Wiimote's gonna stop working. We're gonna have to use navigation on the actual Wii console itself. So if you hit the power button, that'll let you go right and left. And we're gonna go over into the cog icon here. And then we're gonna hit the reset button to make our selection. And the first option here on the left is what we're going with. And it's gonna perform a NAND dump. Now, the NAND dump may take about 10 minutes or so to complete, and you may notice during that time you have a couple of bad blocks. Don't worry about any of that. It's really not that big of an issue. Just let the NAND dump run its course, and I will see you when it's done. Okay, so now with the NAND dump completed, we can go ahead and just hit the reset button to get out of the screen. And then we're going to hit the power button until we get to the back arrow. Hit reset one more time. And then we're just going to go to the homebrew channel. So highlight that and hit reset once again. After that's done, the last thing to do is just to install our theme. So let's go to the My Menuify mod, go to Load. 
It's gonna give you a little disclaimer here on the screen. You can read that or press the A button to continue. Then it's gonna tell you what current iOS you're using and it says I'm using 58, that's fine. You should be using iOS 249 or 58, I believe. Then it's gonna have you select your source device, which I have the SD card selected and you can see the Samus visor theme here on the bottom. And the one on top of that is our original theme. So I'll be showing a snippet of me installing the new theme as well as installing the old theme back. So just highlight Samus visor, press the A button, and then hit install. It's just gonna give you one final warning on this screen. So just press the A button to continue. And it should only take 30 seconds for it to install. You can see it's going pretty quickly here on the 10 parts. And then it's gonna tell you press any button to exit the system. And now we have our new theme. You can see everything here looks completely different. The theme is actually dark. The cursor is different. If I hit the home button, all the options look kind of different. It's just completely reskinned, which I like. Um, but again, there's tons of other themes you guys can choose from. You don't have to choose this one. And if you ever do want to go back, let's just head back over to my Menuify real quick. Select the 97.app or whatever it may be for your region and version of your console. And then select install theme. Just give this a moment. You can see this time it's only seven parts. And then press the A button to exit to the system menu once more. Now we have our original theme back to normal. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you run into any trouble, just leave me a comment down below. I'll try to help you out to the best of my ability. But I think that's pretty much it for this. And I will see you in the next video. Adios. Thank <music> you.